Batemi my local government here in Adamao State, actually resides in River State, Patakot, Nigeria. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. Actually, I have uh, eyes silenced for about two months. I've been passing through some pains in my eyes. It started, I cannot read a far up. When there is something displayed afar up, I cannot read it. And when I look at it, tears will be gushing out of my eyes. And then later on, it migrates to something like sun in my eyes. I will always be putting my hand, especially my right eye. So I will always be putting my hand to remove what is in my eyes. But the thing is not coming out. And whenever I look at somebody's face, tears will be gushing out of my eyes. And the thing was terrible for me. I shared with some of my friends and told them that I don't know what is happening with my eyes. I actually believe in God that it's only him that can heal me. I did not seek any medical attention. So it happened that after one month, they announced the Global Crusades, the October edition at Bori. And then... We went to the crusade by the special grace of God, day one, day two, day three. The miracle had not taken place. Then day four, it was on Sunday. The rain was on us at the evening section. The man of God prayed, God touched me. I did not remember the, the problem again until somebody shared his own testimony that is similar to my own. And I'll say, ah. I was having this challenge. I discovered that everything has gone up. Praise the living God. Now for Jesus, everything has gone off. And everything will go off in your life that is negative. Say amen to that. My name is Christopher Tikikus. I am a member of Deepa La Babu Church. I fellowship with Yola region of Adamawa State, Nigeria. My child here, his name is Testimony, the name we gave to him originally since after his birth. So he had had a problem of health challenge that several doctors confirmed it to be fine. We went to several uh, hospitals, even here in, the, in Yola City. But all medical solutions was uh, proved abortive. We did everything the doctors asked us to, de to do, but everything proved abortive. But by the grace of God, during Ondo GCK, titled The Triumphant Power, my wife, his mother, encouraged him that whenever the miracle prayer is going on, that he should do whatever uh, Pastor Kumi asked him to do. So he did that the first day. A friend closer to him was cracking joke at him that what was it at his buttock that he was placing his hand for the pastor to pray for him. So when he went back home, he told his mother that he was not going to put his hand any longer there because his friend was, were, were cracking jo uh, joke, jokes at him. But she encouraged him never to, uh, to worry. So he placed his hand on Saturday, lifted up his hand, did the same thing on Sunday. Sunday morning was Sunday worship service. It was not prayer, miracle prayer station, but he lifted up his hand, placed his hand there. So his immediate elder sister was telling him that it was not miracle prayer that was going on. Why lifting up your hand? Bring down your hand. So he refused. He lifted up his hand, was busy demonstrating prayer. So by the grace of God, when the service was over and we went back home, he went to the toilet to defecate. And before then, when he went to the toilet to defecate, the pile would protrude, the, the animals would protrude, and where he squatted would be stained with blood. But after the prayer, miracle prayer on Sunday morning, when he went back home to defecate, it was a different story and telling. Praise the Lord. As he squatted to, to defecate, a lump of flesh from his hand was cut down and fell down to the ground. Divine operation. Praise the Lord. 
So he rushed outside and told me that I should come and see what was happening. I went there, and surprisingly, I could not explain what that was because I was the more confused. I was saying, was that the, was that your complication or what? Bent, as a man, I reserved myself so as not to confuse my family. And I was telling myself that I will wait to confirm before the evening prayer of that Sunday GCK. So he went to the toilet before the uh, evening program, and it was a miracle. Miracle is real. Praise the Lord. There was no protrusion of anus. There was no any blood in the, 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 the stool any longer. He was perfectly healed. And imagine, from uh, August this year, now it's three months. The miracle is so perfect. It's real. Praise the Lord. May the Lord keep Pastor Kumui fresh for us. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, the miracle is real. Your miracle will be real. Amen. He said, the miracle was perfect. Your all will be perfect. Amen. Praise the Lord. I have examined testimony. He has a medical condition called hemorrhoids and anal polyps. The prayer of the man of God, I checked and I discovered everything was completely healed. Praise the Lord. And everything will be completely healed in your life this, this day, this night. If you believe God, shout a bit, amen. amen. In the crusade of Calabar, so I was having leg pain. I couldn't move my, my leg, especially when, 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 if I'm in bed. I can't move at all, so I couldn't feel any, no feelings at all. And I was praying, and after, after the prayer of our, of our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Kumoyi, after the final prayer, I was healed. And the second testimony was about uh, because the situation my daughter was passing through. That was just my focus, praying for her, but I was... Uh, I, Uh, due to that, I developed testifying. She was saying that she was uh, having some problem, and the boss told her to come to, to the crusade that she's going to get her healing. And she said she's not from Deeper Life Bible Church. Then she was saying it, and she said she, really, she was really hit. I said, God, ah, what about me? I go to Bible Believing Church, and I'm still having this problem. God, please hear my prayer. The Lord said, I've done this the one in Calabar. I've done the one in a, in a, in a, in Port Harcourt. Have you testified? I say, God, how? Have mercy. Have mercy. I was just carried away, you know, looking, you know. Uh, praying for another prayer and see what you've done for me. So, so I was so grateful that I really said I just need to come and testify the goodness of the Lord for what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. 